Well, lots of folks will be gathering to celebrate what has become a holiday tradition here tomorrow night. That's right. It's the annual Candy Cane Lane Neighborhood Lights Celebration, and that's where we find Sunrise reporter Chelsea Torres live this morning. Good morning, Chelsea. Hey, good morning, everybody. That's right here at McAlpin Drive, and this is just one of the spots that you can really expect and see here at Candy Cane Lane. Now, tomorrow, though, it's not just one of the streets here in Shannon Estates neighborhood. It's the entire neighborhood, and this year they've added a few more things to really bring in the holiday cheer. It's the lights and characters that turn Shannon Estates into a holiday wonderland. It started out as a way to meet our neighbors, um, the celebration, and then it just took off like wildfire. It all begins with the neighbors putting in the effort and costs, turning their front yard into a Christmas utopia. To see the kids come up and you can hear him yelling, look, mama, look, mama, look, 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 this is a daycare center, look, 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 and they all want to, they all want to take pictures and they get so excited. This is mostly done for the kids. The kids love it. Uh, that's why every all the neighbors do it. You can typically see neighborhood lights from your own car, but for the big celebration, there's some important advice. We encourage everyone to park away at the streets far away and walk to the event. There's, there's several avenues to come in through Candy Cane Lane to the Shannon neighborhood, not just Everhart. The Candy Cane Lane celebration will be packed with food trucks, hot cocoa, live music, Santa, and of course, festive decorations. And this year, Candy Cane Lane decided to do something a little different and give back to the community. This year, Candy Cane Lane will be hosting the Heroes of the Guard that are doing a uh, toy drive. They're uh, trying to reach the goal of a thousand toys to give to Driscoll Children's Hospital. There will be blanket donations for the homeless and other fundraisers throughout the neighborhood. All about spreading cheer, something many neighbors hope never ends. It is so much fun. It, the lights and the excitement of the kids just make the season so much happier, so much better. Merry Christmas to Kennekin Lane. So Candy Cane Lane celebration kicks off at 6 p.m. tomorrow night here at the Shannon Estates neighborhood. And one thing many neighbors keep telling me is they want to make sure that people are either using the rideshare app to come here or even walk throughout the entire neighborhood or just use a scooter. But it's all in the name of good fun. You can find more information on our website, ChrisTV.com. Guys, back to you. I have found that walking the neighborhood is always yeah. better because I don't get to enjoy the decorations. You know why? Traffic. Because I'm looking at the traffic in yeah. front of me, making sure I don't run into them. Don't go or don't go too fast. Yeah. Really don't, yeah. Boom. So. Uh, yeah. That'll walking. be good. And that's uh, Saturday night. Yeah. By then, hopefully, the storm will have passed through. But.